Hello friends, welcome back to Technological Logic. Today I will be describing the role of electronics in the technological advancement of the world. How the micro electronics, how the small components of electronics play a vital role in the modernization of the world. I will be especially describing the different components of electronics, the simplest way of explanation I will try to explain and how exactly the modernization, the modern world is growing with the help of electronics. Well, let's start. First of all, I will start uh, the journey by dealing some, something about the term electronics. Electronics deals, uh, electronics is a branch of engineering which deals with the flow of electrons. That means a particular flow of electrons and particular pattern of electrons describes how the uh, properties of different uh, elements behave. So, uh, first of all, I will be describing a little bit about the term conductor, then insulator. Well, and conductor, any object, any object which can conduct is called conductor, I mean electrically. So, what's, what exactly the difference between conductor and insulator? Why woods, plastics, rubbers, etc. can't conduct, while aluminium, and copper, gold, silver, etc. can conduct? What exactly is the internal combustion, uh, com composition and internal difference? Well, first of all, uh, I have already described the term electron flow of electron. You can watch that video in my previous videos. What exactly is electron? By the way, the flow of electrons contribute to the uh, conductivity of any material. Any material conducts electrically. It clearly indicates that there are a lot of free electrons within that. So rubbers, plastics, woods, etc. don't conduct because uh, the, the nuclear force within the atom attracts them quite forcefully so that the applied voltage is not sufficient enough to flow it, to make it flow. So when there is no flow of electrons, obviously there is no flow of electricity. So uh, talking about uh, elements which are conductors like uh, gold, aluminium, uh, copper, etc. Uh, their molecules, uh, sorry, atoms are very uh, bigger in size and compared to the, uh, those of hydrogen, helium, lithium, etc. Due to the uh, bigger size and the bigger atomic size, the electrons are loosely bound to the, uh, to the nuclear force. Hence, they are free to uh, flow. So, when a little bit of uh, electric potential is applied in front of them, uh, there is flow of electrons. But talking about insulators, they are bounded quite strongly well the most i will be describing the most important part of electronics the five most uh, i mean topmost electronic components which are available in the market and which controls the whole universe the first one is resistor well despite the fact that conductors can conduct if we uh, in between two wires or in between two conductors put some resistance i mean resistors then the flow of current, flow of electrons can be controlled. It can be minimized or maximized according to the resistance of that particle. Well, what exactly the resistors do? The resistors offer some resistance to the flow of electrons. The, the electrons while passing through the resistors are actually not so much fluent as was fluent in the conductors. That's why there is lack of flow within the uh, register and which contributes to, to the resistance of that material. Every Almost every material in the world has some internal resistance. They can vary. Somewhere it is higher, somewhere it is less. In insulator it is very much higher and in conductors it is very less. Well now one more important uh, concept of electricity and component that is diode. I will describe diode. Before that, I would like to uh, I would like to provide some information about the term semiconductors. Some uh, conductors are there, some elements are there, and some compounds are there, which neither fall 100% to the conductors nor to the insulators. They are in between conductor and insulator. They are called semiconductors. Now, what exactly is the difference uh, in the internal construction of the semiconductors? which uh, allows uh, their property 
to uh, work differently according to the voltage applied. Well, uh, there are some special properties in the semiconductors. They conduct electricity only uh, up to a limited, uh, a limited uh, voltage and limited temperature. I mean, at a particular time, we have to ignite the electrons from the compounds or from the elements. I mean, there are countable number of electrons. Like this much number of electrons can be uh, freed from the elements, from the semiconductors, which contribute to the flow of electrons. Well, what space, what's the speciality about the semiconductors? Semiconductors play a vital role in the whole uh, electronics industry. It's semiconductor only which led us to the smallest to smallest chips and smallest devices, electronic devices, uh, to be built in the world. Well, uh, the most, the most, I mean the simplest part, uh, the simplest component of electronics which is made from semiconductor is diode. Well, diode is combination of two types of semiconductors. First part is N type, second part is P type. In the N type, there is excess of electrons, slight bit excess of electrons. In the P type, there is some lack of electrons and actually there is some majority of holes within that. So when both, of, uh, both type of semiconductors that is N type and P type are mixed together to form a diode and in that diode there is a layer formed in between by sandwiching the two types of semiconductors and there is magic within that layer itself. That layer only controls uh, the flow of electrons at a specific position. I mean, at a particular direction, it can allow the flow of electrons. But when the same voltage is applied by reversing the polarity, it does not conduct. So it's a special property of diode to conduct uh, electricity to, uh, to allow the flow of electrons at a particular direction and uh, block it in other directions. Well, then comes uh, another semiconductor device called transistor. It is two formed by sandwiching semiconductors, but it is the it is formed by three uh, three different uh, semiconductor types. Uh, no doubt, two of them are equal, similar. I mean, uh, two may be N type or two may be P type. I mean, either two N type in between P type, then either two P types and in between them is N type. So when three, all these three are sandwiched together, according to some mechanism, it is done actually in automated process in a machine, now it cannot be handled by a naked hand. Well, while doing that, there is, there is a formation of two layers in between those uh, semiconductors. Those two layers actually conduct and uh, control the flow of electrons at a particular way. So diodes, transistors, etc control actually the flow of electrons and that flow of electrons can uh, control the whole technological advancement. For example, a diode can be used in order to convert any AC signal to DC, any AC voltage to DC voltage. In the same way, a transistor can be used to amplify any signal. For example, uh, this video is being transmitted from, uh, from my server to the main server in the form of electromagnetic waves. So those signals are achieved and uh, uh, received and need to be amplified because they are weaker signals. So for the purpose of amplification, transistors are used. There is another compo uh, component of electronic circuit, a very vital component that is capacitor. Well, a capacitor is uh, an electronic uh, component which can store the charges. The charges, what does it refer? It simply refers, it can control, I mean it can store the electrons. At a particular plate, it can store the electrons and at the opposite plate, it can uh, deplete the electrons. So it's, it's, the, it's the combination of two layers. Two layers are kept quite closer to each other and when a particular voltage is applied in between them, the electrons move from one plate to another according to the polarity. And while moving, it gets stored. So it's stored, uh, there is a dielectric medium within that. So capacitor in that way it is formed but the main importance of this component is that it can be used while uh, receiving any signal. Capacitor is very important uh, part of any electronic device. It is used in the filtering circuits also. For example there is noise, 
and uh, there is some fluctuations in the intensity of the compound and a particular uh, frequency need to be passed i mean a particular voice need to be passed and other voices should be blocked in that way capacitor can be used well friends a lot more electronic components are there in my near videos i will be describing each one of them quite uh, describe i mean uh, openly and quite in a detail so what is the exact detail of capacitor transistor diode inductor resistor etc will be uploaded very soon but till now it was all about the basics of electricity and basics of electronics how electronic circuits uh, contribute to the whole universe in the technology technological advancement well if you like the video please click on the like button and uh, for getting more videos in future subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching